Hey guys, it's afternoon coffee time and I thought I'd show you how to use the Smeg coffee grinder and coffee machine. Um, when we were choosing a coffee machine, we were kind of torn between the Breville and the Smeg and we chose the Smeg purely on its looks. I think the reviews for Breville were slightly better, but it was just a bit too big and too ugly. The Smeg comes with a pressurized basket, so most coffee snobs would pretty much not buy this machine. And what it means is that the coffee kind of collects near the hole and then the machine creates pressure and it pushes the coffee out. Um, in a unpressurized coffee machine, it doesn't you know, pressure the coffee out. It kind of slowly drips and you get better extraction. Um, but you also have to kind of time the extraction, make sure you've got a really perfect grind for that and spend a lot more time making your coffee. So if you're a bit of an average person like myself and just care about looks, this is the machine for you. Having the St. Ali Wide Awake Coffee, the coffee of the week this week, and it's pretty great. Just pour the beans in there, lid goes on, you can set it to double shot or single shot, having a double shot because it's what I need. Put it on a pretty fine grind and that's how it looks. And then I'm using my tamp mat over here to just tamp the coffee down bought this online maybe from ebay um and that is because the smeg machine came with this plastic tamper i don't want to say bad things about smeg because i really like it but why so once your coffee is ground and tamped put it into the machine like so have your glass ready and press the double shot option. Then just wait for the magic to happen. A little bit of a cleaner because it is a messy process. Perfect, so I'll let that drip. Then I'll get the steam wand ready and hot. Steam wand is a bit short and fat, so if you're expecting to make latte art and amazing swans like I was, well, that's not gonna happen, but it's good enough. So first I'll steam it out and I get the initial watery bit out until it's fully steamed. Check that out. That way it heats up my little milk jug. Oh, this is a coffee, Turkish coffee pot. I don't have a milk jug because they're all too big for this one. So if you recommend a short milk jug, let me know. And then we'll froth and steam our milk. Bring it all the way down. So yeah, I think recently the Breville mach um, Breville's released a Bambino machine, which actually looks aesthetically pleasing and I wouldn't mind having in the kitchen. I don't know if it's a good machine. I'm not sure if it's pressurized or unpressurized, but I know that with Breville, you can change the baskets and that's what a lot of people do. So let me know if you have a Breville and what you think about it. So here's our cup of coffee, decent crema, looks good, smells great, milk's ready, and the part we've all been waiting for, my pretty awesome abstract latte art. Not sure if we still have zero cases in Melbourne, I think we do. 
But there we go. Have a great day, everyone.